Jerry of the Circus. For Jerry of the Circus. Morning, Whitey. Uh, morning, Jerry. What's the first thing to do today? Oh, there's not a lot to do. Uh, sit down in this bale here and visit a spell while I fix up this harness. That's the boy. I didn't know you had to take care of the harness, too. Well, it don't as a rule, Jerry, but my blacksmith's not feeling so good, so I told him to take a day or two off. He's pretty well caught up with his work. There's just a little shoeing to be done. Today? Mm-hmm. We'll get to that in a little while. What do you know, Jerry? I know I had an awful scare last night. A scare? Yeah. I thought I lost my keys, but Rags had them, and, and he buried them under the wagon. Hmm. And I was looking all over for him, and then Rags started to dig under the wagon where he always buries bones, and, and sure enough, he dug them up. Well, now, that was lucky, wasn't it? I'll say it was. There's one key on my key ring that's really important. That's so? Uh-huh. It's a key to a safety deposit box my father had. Patsy's going to help me find out where it is. Don't you know what banks the box was rented in? No, that that's what we have to find out. Hmm, sounds like a pretty big order to me, Jerry, but maybe Patsy knows what she's doing. Oh, there now. That's fixed. You going to do some horseshoe now? Yep. Uh, get Dolly, that roan mare there, and bring her out. Okay, Whitey. Is this her? Yeah. Nice, Dolly. Oh, girl. Come on, Dolly. Come on. Got to get some new shoes, Dolly. Come on, girl. Here we come, Whitey. Uh, that's the boy, Jerry. Uh, bring her right over here. Oh, Dolly. Oh, girl. Mm. Uh, put a little more heat on this shoe. Isn't she going to get a whole new set of shoes? No. Nope. Mm, no. One of the hustlers said she had a broken shoe back here. Yes, that's all she needs. And yeah, we'll get that to attend to, all right. Going to fix it? No, I'm going to put a new shoe on. There's one in the fire here. Sure is fun to watch you shoe a horse. You never see it done before, Jerry? Oh, sure, lots of times, but but I never get tired of watching. <laughs> oh, 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 Dolly. Oh, girl. Just right, isn't it? Yep. Ah, uh, there we are, Dolly. All set. Shall I take her back now? Yep, yeah, put her back in her place, Jerry. Come on, Dolly. Come on. Better pay a visit to Splendor while you're down there, Jerry. I think that pole kind of looks forward to your coming in here every morning. Okay. Here, Dolly. Come on now. Come on now. Nice girl. That's the girl. There you are. All fixed up with a nice new shoe. Hello, Splendor. Here's my pal. And say, Whitey, you think maybe Splendor will be a jumper? Uh, if he takes after his mo, he will. Yes, sir. Remember, Whitey? You said I could try and teach Splendor a few tricks. Mm, it's okay with me, Jerry. Uh, I don't guess you'll spoil them. You seem to understand horses pretty well. Will you help me? Sure thing. Get me someday when I'm not busy, and we'll put this little fella through his paces all right. Oh, you like that, huh, Splendor? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like he knows what we're talking about. Uh, he'll be a high school horse if there ever was one. What's a high school horse, Whitey? Oh, a high school horse is a highly trained one. 
One that can do all sorts of tricks and take commands and not get excited out under the big top with a lot of people around. It means he's educated, huh? Yeah. Those high school horses are certainly clever at dancing and fancy steps. Yeah, but don't forget those broad back ring horses are pretty smart, too. Why is it most of them are white? Well, there's several reasons for that. In the first place, they can be seen from a greater distance when they're working in the show. That's a good reason. What else? Well, uh... Well, when they take the shedding, uh, the white hair doesn't show on the white costumes most of the riders wear. When a dark horse starts shedding, they can sure mess up a costume pretty fast. Golly, I never thought of that. And then, too, the, the rosin doesn't show so much on a white horse. Do you put rosin on them? Why, sure, Jerry. Didn't you know that? Uh-uh. Uh, what do you do that for? So the riders won't slip off when the horses are galloping around the ring. The rosin makes good footing on their backs. You see, Jerry, the back of a horse is pretty slippery to be jumping around on. I'll bet that's why you call them rosinbacks. <laughs> yeah, you're right that time. All the horses using the rings are called rosinbacks for that very reason. Maybe someday I'll learn all there is about a circus. But there sure is a lot to know. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, there's a lot to it, all right. Folks that just go into the big top to see the show never stop to realize how much work and care it takes to put the whole thing complete. Oh, it's a great big business, Jerry. You. Anybody in there? It's Patsy, Whitey. Uh, uh, come on in, Patsy. We're back here with Splendor. I think she wants me to go to the bank with her now, Whitey. Well, okay, you can go. Uh, be sure you do your watering before the matinee, though. You can't let any of these horses go thirsty. I'll water them as soon as I get back. Morning, Whitey. Think you can spare your helper for a short while? Uh, sure thing, Patsy. Take him away with you. But be sure you bring him back. This department wouldn't function right without Jerry. <laughs> Bye, Splendor. You and that coat are getting along fine, Jerry. We sure are. So long, Whitey. See you in about an hour. Okay, Jerry. You know, Patsy, I'm going to teach Splendor some tricks. You are? Uh-huh. Mr. Randall and Whitey said I could. Mm, that's fine, Jerry. <laughs> uh, sometimes I wonder just what you are going to turn out to be around this circus. Sometimes I wonder, too. It's all so interesting. It, it's hard for me to make up my mind what I want to be. Mm, looks like we're not too early, Jerry. The pay window over at the office wagon is open. I guess Jim Bennett's paying off. There's no one in line there. Maybe we're the first one. Hey, there's Jim in the window now. Morning, Jim. Morning, Patsy and Jerry. Are you paying off yet? It's right here for you. Come and get it. Is my pay ready, too? Sure is, Jerry. Uh, you two are the first ones to put your hands out today. Say, hey, what's the matter? Afraid there wouldn't be enough money to go around? <laughs> oh, no. We're not worried about that. But Jerry and I are going over to that bank across the street. We've got big business on. Well, fine. Let's see now. Here you are, Patsy. There. That's your well-earned money. No, thank you, Jim. And now for Jerry. There you are, son. Thanks. And don't forget, part of that money belongs to Rags. He worked for it, so I guess you better give it to him. Oh, yeah? If I gave it to him, he'd bury it under the wagon. <laughs> there, I see the bandages off the head, Jim. That bump all healed now? Good as new, Patsy. Guess I've got an iron head, all right. <laughs> Say, Jerry... Heard from your Uncle Dan lately? Not yet, but I guess he'll be writing to me soon. Well, when you answer his letter, send him my regards, will you? You might tell him all is forgiven. I sure will. I feel sorry for Mr. Dugan. He surely went through a lot with Lorenz all those years. Yeah, that was a bad deal, all right. But I guess he's lucky to be alive at all after that fall off the train. He'll be out of the hospital soon and well and strong again. Yes. But he'll never be able to get those years back that were lost to him when his memory went bad. Mr. Randall is going to give him some kind of a job with the circus when he gets well. Well, that would be some help. I'd like to see him get back in his old business of hunting wild game. Maybe he'll do that later, Jim. Yeah, you never can tell. Well, I guess we'd better hurry over to the bank, Jerry. You ready? Uh-huh. Goodbye, Jim, and thanks. Okay, Patsy. Goodbye. <laughs> you? Why, yes, sir. I'm with the circus, and this is Jerry Dugan, also with our show. How do you do, young man? I'm glad to know you, young lady. My name is Roth. I'm the cashier. I'm mighty happy to be of assistance to you. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to solve this problem or not, Mr. Ross. Problem? Yes, sir. Jerry and I would like to check on the safe deposit box key. Our key? From one of our boxes? No, that's just it. We don't know what bank the key is from. Well, that's a problem, all right. Have you got the key with you? Yes, let Mr. Ross see the key, Jerry. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, here it is. Uh, that little one there. It is a safety deposit box key, isn't it? Yes. 
That's what it is, all right. But there are no markings on it other than this number, 7C4321. Uh, your key, son? Yes, sir. It was my father's. His father's living. Oh, I see. And you'd like to find out where this box is located? Yes, sir. We thought there may be something in it that Jerry should know about. Didn't your father ever tell you about the box he'd rented in some bank? No, he didn't. I didn't even know it was a key for a safe deposit box until Pappy saw it and told me about it. Well, now, looks like there'll have to be a little work done on this, because this key and ours aren't at all alike. Must be made by a different lock company. Isn't there any way we can find out? Yes, there is. We'll do all we can. I think Jerry should know what's in that box, don't you, Mr. Ross? By all means. The very fact that his father kept the safety deposit box proves there must be something of value in it. Uh, do you have any other relatives, Jerry? No, sir. You had your Uncle Dan. Oh, that's right. I, I forgot. You forgot about your uncle? <laughs> well, I'll bet he wouldn't like that. Well, Jerry only found him last week. I guess his uncle is new to him. I see. Uh, no other relatives? No, sir. Well, in that case, I think you'd be the only one that should have access to the box. It may contain something that will have a bearing on your future life, Jerry. Well, I... Well, how am I ever going to find where the box is? There must be some way to trace this key, Mr. Ross. I have a suggestion to make. I don't know for sure that it will work, but we can try. What's that? This bank belongs to a clearinghouse association, and it might be that if we sent the key into their headquarters, well, there's a slight chance that one of the banks that belongs to the association might be using the same type of key in their safety deposit vault. Well, how will that help? Well, in that way, we could find out just what lock and safe company made the key. Well, then we could write to them and try to face it for, uh, trace it further. That's it, exactly. Well, will you send the key into the association for us? Oh, I'd be very happy to. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ross. You're very kind. And now I'd like to get a cashier's check. Fine. I'll get a blank. Do you think you'll be able to find out where the box is, Patsy? I don't know, Jerry, but I do hope so. There may be something in that box that's awfully important to you. 